really kept you guys in the game? How were you just feeling it like you haven't felt all season? No, um, no, it was just probably just the reps I got before the game. I um, really felt good. My teammates did a great job of just finding me. The easy part was for me just to get open and just knock down the shot, and you know, I helped my team do that. And then the block on the last play. It was, I mean, it was a, it was a questionable call, but um, you know, you, you, you don't call that call. You no, know, it's up to the rest to call it in. Either way it goes, um, you know, we came out the win, so I'm happy. You guys were obviously pushed to the limit. Just kind of put in the words how huge was the It was very huge, especially coming off a, a loss at Assembly Hall in Indiana. And, you know, it was a great character builder for our young guys to come out there and, you know, just go out and play hard and don't worry about, you know, making mistakes or whatever, you know. Just keep it fun and whatever happens, happens. And they did that. Definitely not, no. <laughs> Did you, did, was it just a, a, an opportunity to put the team on your back because nobody else was hitting and you didn't want that deficit to get too big? Well, I mean, everybody was everybody was connecting in the beginning of the second half, and I mean, I knocked down two threes in a row, and then Coach Beeline just just did a great job of just drawing up plays to get me open, and it was just up to me to make hard cuts and you know fake my guy out, and you know it was tough, but you know it worked. It was any of them a heat check, or was it just they all were in flow? No, some some of them were heat checks, and I mean, you know, the ball's going in, the ball's going in. I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> yeah, the last play again, you just stop them, trying to stop him by any means necessary. There, I mean, if he makes free throws. Yeah, I mean, I thought overtime, I thought but. Trey fouled him, and then I thought the whistle was going to blow, and then I just went for the ball, and I mean, I saw the ball in my face, so I just tried to wrap it up and probably got his arm or something like that. But you no, know, like I said, it's up to the rest to call they call in, and they let it go. You guys are having a tough time defensively for most of that second half what sort of changed in overtime to hold yeah, I, mean, I don't think it was defense I think it was just the offensive rebound and they did, they had so many second chance shots and second chance opportunities to you know to extend their lead and that's what they did and you know, at the at, at the last two three minutes of the game we decided to you know get one stop let, limit them to one stop and just go out there and make plays and that's what we did a game like tonight just shows how hard it is to win in this conference home or away yeah home or away you're, you're gonna get a game every every night and you gotta go out there with that same mentality every game and you know there's no freebies out there so just get, gotta get all you got and thankfully we came out this um five game stretch four and one did Tim, you get the sense that the both teams were getting a little tired. Maybe that was part of the reason why some of the shots were missing, like McGarry and Stavsky. They had layups in overtime. Uh, I mean, just probably fatigue set in or something like that. But like I said, I mean, it all comes down to will and if you want it more. And today, um, both teams really wanted, it, but we came out on top. Tim, in your two losses, uh, you fell behind and then came back, but didn't close it out today. Fell behind a little bit and, and then came back and closed it out. What, what did this team learn from that kind of experience? It's how to learn to play with hard and you can't give the other team an opportunity to if they had a lead to extend it. And we made we made some mistakes um, on the offensive end and defensive end, not knowing personnel and not knowing where the shooters were. They they knocked down some big shots, especially when guys are trying to help out if the guy got beat. So I mean we just gotta do a great job of just going out there and just defending our man and just going out there and just you know, just stopping them. What was the locker room like after the game? Locker room was great. Um, you know it was great, and everybody didn't want to have that same feeling that they had at Indiana after after a loss, after a close loss like that. And and um, you know it was just it was just a great atmosphere. Our recruits are there. You know to see that, see the game, and we're just happy we just did it for for ourselves and for our, for our fans here. When the, the final buzzer went, I mean, what was the first thing you did? Who did you look for? I just looked at the crowd and I just said thank you in my mind. You know I was just happy that they brought all that energy and. Um, you know, they uplifted us throughout the whole entire game, even if we were down, and, you know, that really helped us out a lot. You uh, you led the team back through the, the student section to give high fives again afterwards. Why, why was that? Why was that? We did the same thing last year when we played Ohio State, and, and um should make it a tradition, you know, after after that, you know, any big game, man. You know, it was great because it was them. They were here the night before the game, waiting in the cold, in the tents, heated tents, and, and it's them in line just waiting in the snow. It was snowing really bad today, so... So it was just, just them giving us their all, giving all their energy to us, and we were just feeding off of them.